Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the nominal rate and that's simply, that is simply the R in a compound interest. Now, in a compound interest, you can see different versions of the formula. And like the first one, FV means it's the future value. While the PV is the present value. The I here is actually R over N, where N is the number of times the interest is compounded. And this N in this formula is basically the NT of the second formula. Okay, so that's the difficulty sometimes when you refer to different textbooks. They use different versions of the formula and they use the same letters. That makes it confusing when you go from one book to another. Okay, so what I do is, I always remember that the exponent here is the number of periods. And the time here is the number of years. The i is always the annual interest over the number of times the interest is compounded. So for instance, if they say that the interest rate is, if they say the yearly interest or the rate of interest is 7%, then the i is equal to 0 0.07, that's 7%, divided by the number of times the interest is compounded. So if it's 7% compounded semi-annually, semi-annually means 2, then my i is 0 0.07 over 2. Okay, so that's how you find the value of i. And then these two formulas that you can see are actually based on the basic formula for the amount for a compound interest equals the P, which is just the PV, and then 1 plus R over N raised to NT. Okay, so suppose, again, the goal of this video is to show you how to find the value of R. So as much as possible, I will try to avoid the first version because the R is not seen directly from the formula. So what we will do is we will be using the second version and that's because we have the R over the N. Personally, I prefer the formula number two because I could see clearly what is R and what is N and the number of periods is expressed as N times the T which is the number of years. Take note. The number of periods is not necessarily the same as the number of years, okay? So let's make one example. Suppose you deposited an amount of, let's say, 10,000. And you want this 10,000 to grow to 20,000. And your target time is that this will grow to 20,000 after 5 years. So what nominal rate, so what R, what nominal rate should you apply for so that you can achieve a 20,000 from a deposit of 10,000 for 5 years? So we're looking for the R. So I'll pick my formula, the future value is equal to the present value, and then 1 plus R over N raised to NT. And I'll simply place the values given in the problem. And that's 20,000 for FV, 10,000 for PV, you have 1 plus R is missing, so we keep that as R. N is the number of times uh, it is compounded. So I forgot to mention, let's say it is compounded semi-annually. So compounded semi-annually. So this gives me the value of N, which is equal to 2. So from R over N, it becomes R over 2 raised to 2 and the time my target year is this will happen in 5 years so I have 2 times 5 
which will become 10 later on. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is to divide both sides by the PV so that you can eliminate the 10,000 immediately and the 20,000 over 10,000 is 2 so your equation is suddenly reduced to 2 equals 1 plus r over 2 raised to 2 times 5 let's make that 10 okay now you have an exponent 10 to eliminate the exponent 10 you need, need to get the 10th root of the other side which is 2 equals 1 plus r over 2 do not simplify this yet you wait until you find the r so what so you just continue so 10th root of 2 this one goes to the other side minus 1 is equal to r over 2 and then finally to get the r you have to multiply both sides by 2 and that's that will remove the 2 on the right side and you will have 2 times 10th root of 2 minus 1. I suggest that you input this value in the cal calculator directly using parenthesis the root of 2 you have to type that in minus 1 and this will give you the r so let's compute so this will be equal to r is equal to 0 0.1435 or r is 14.35 percent so that's how large the nominal rate should be so that you can have the 10,000 to double is actually to 20,000 in just five years okay so this value of the rate is sometimes or most of the time it's hard to find because it's a large number especially when the percent is already bigger than 10 usually the offerings will be less than 10 percent okay but based on the given information that we have this is the r that we have computed so the key always in finding the nominal rate is to start with the formula you have to place the corresponding values properly it has to be properly uh, you have to properly substitute the values if it's FV the future value you place the FV if it's the PV you have to place the PV and you have here the R over N you should know how many times this compounded and then you should know the number of years after that it's all about manipulating the formula until you get the R so common approach is you first divide both sides by the PV then after that it will be reduced immediately to a very or a shorter equation and that takes you removing an exponent is taking the root of the other side and then just manipulate until you get the R okay at this point it is necessary to use a calculator because you cannot do 10th root of 2 manually okay in the end if you get a decimal express that in percent up to two decimal places and there you have the value for the r okay final note i would like to emphasize that i is not necessarily the r they can only be the same when the interest is compounded annually or per year if it becomes semi-annually compounded say monthly and daily then you have to use i is equal to r over n okay that's it